everyone, today I'm at Nickajack Dam. And it's loud here because they get all the generators running. I'm here with Ty at fvcatfish.com. Yo. We've been catching skipjack. Skipjack, two cap, two skipjack. Not bad. Oh, right at the boat. That is a toad right here. <laughs> there we go. Want to fish? I'm freelining one skipjack right now, live, and Ty has another reel with a live skipjack on it. We're also saving skipjacks to cut up for a little bit later when we try further downstream. This is the Kuma Coldwater on a nine foot whisker seeker. I was going to do some distance casting today with it and another new rod and reel I have, but Ty invited me out on his boat so I couldn't pass it up. Look at those gizzard shad. So we got bait everywhere here. Nice. We're specifically targeting flatheads today. Hoping to get Ty on his first flathead and me on my first flathead this year. Hopefully a tarp. Hopefully a tarp. But let's see what we catch today. Look at that to the size of my hand. Nice. First fish on, he just dropped this gizzard shad just like three seconds ago. Wow. Oh no, it's a big fat drum. Oh, oh wow! Yeah, that's nice. No. <laughs> we need to measure him. He might be a tarp. What is that, 29? 29? 29 inches. We need to look up, see if that's a tarp. 15. Right 15 on the, pounds. 15 on the dock. Nice. Oh, brother, he's ready to go. Ah, there he goes. I know we're wanting flathead. Any fish is good, especially a giant drum like that. Oh, <laughs> hello. What are you doing over here? Oh, got, got a fish on. Good. Probably a drum. <laughs> Not fighting like a flathead. No. Man, we're catching some big drum. Ty's got a fish on. Another big drum. I can't <laughs> keep him down there long enough for something else to get at him. I'm just gonna turn him loose here. I was vertical jigging my uh, Foley spoon. Since there's drum around here. And I got one. <laughs> oh no! I got a... <laughs> got a blue cat. First catfish of the day. Yeah. <laughs> blue cat on a Foley spoon. He choked it too. Foley spoon catfish. Let him go. I was just vertical jigging the foley spoon. I was hoping to get a big drum, but that catfish decided to eat it. You got another one? Oh, them cuts the drum. <laughs> <laughs> another drum. They really want that thrift in. Okay, I'm going to do something incredibly stupid here. I'm using a thread fin on my light tackle. See if I can catch a drum. This is only eight pound line, so this will be interesting fight. Got another one? I just saw a drum right on the edge there. Ah! Oh, it took my bait. I'm gonna try hooking this one differently. It took my bait on another one, so right through the nose. Got one. Light tackle. This was either a terrible idea or a brilliant idea. He's not coming up. Huh. There 
There he is. Oh, he's come untangled. No, he hasn't. He's just making it worse. A <laughs> light tackle drum. Goodbye. If you see that, those are big gizzard shad. They're all along this wall with a bunch of thread fins as well. There's a lot of bait here. That's why the drum are here. We're setting up to drift fish the tailwaters. No, I think that's a fish. I think it's, that's that giant skip jack. So. Oh, okay. As I was saying, we're trying to drift fish with live bait right at the tailwaters. I'm doing it with a nine foot pole. Got a fish on. We were all tangled up in each other. And something slammed. Oh, and he came off. Well, win some, lose some. So that drum I caught earlier was 29 inches. A tarp drum is 28 inches. So Ty's going to fill out the paperwork and I have three fish to go to get Master Angler level two. We just got done suspend drifting and uh, had a couple of hits, but no fish. So we're going to move to an anchor bite with cut bait. So Ty is using a combination of cut skipjack and cut shad, gizzard shad. He says the flatheads around here like fresh, fresh bait and all this we just caught. I'm giving a live gizzard shad a try. I'm going to toss it near shore. If we don't catch a 200 pounder, then we're not doing something right. Here we go, time to wait. We're gonna get a big one, right? Fish on. This went down slowly, so this has gotta be a big flathead. Decent? Yeah, yeah. It's got a little bit of weight. Oh, he cranked that down, that was beautiful. Just yes. beautiful. Something's kinda looking like a blue now, the way it's kicking. Yeah, it's a blue. Yeah. This is the Upper Guntersville Lake Blue Cat on the Tennessee River, on the Tennessee side. Let him go. Let him go. Let him grow. Right. Yep. We just had a slow takedown on this one. Oh wow, he's got some weight on him. Oh, yeah, this is a de decent fish. Yeah, that's a pretty good fish right here, I think. <laughs> flatty, come on, be a flatty. <laughs> oh, 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 he knows he's hooked now. Yeah, I'm wow. Sure this is a flathead. Yeah, this is. My buddy Randy had the same thing happen. It come up to the boat, and then it just started. That's when it started fighting. Ooh there he is. Yep, yep, there oh yeah, that's a monster flathead. <laughs> all right. I think you got a tarp here. Yes. Yes, me too. Yeah, I'll hand land him if you pull him up. He's got a little hurt spot on him. Wow, that's beautiful fish. Look at that. Awesome. 39 inch flathead. We were targeting these guys specifically. Beautiful fish. He's a tarp too, 39 inches. So that's two tarps in one day. Going to get a weight on him and then we're going to release him. He's 27 pounds. Beautiful fish. Look at his little beady eyeballs. <laughs> He's like, oh, I'm in the water. I'm so happy. He's really, really super lethargic. Yeah, he didn't fight like they normally do. There's, that water's still cool enough, I guess. Okay, he is, uh, he is curly, so I'm gonna... There he goes. Yeah, he'll... <laughs> <laughs> there he goes, he woke up. <laughs> Awesome. He's just like, stop messing with my tail. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> okay, so I do get this one and you get that one. We're doubled up here. I was trying to give away this fish to tie. 
This one's just swimming upstream. Oh man, this is a pretty good fish here. Now he's went back downstream, he's pulling a bunch of drag. Oh, this is exciting. Now this is what it's all about right here, man. Yep. Oh, flathead. Woohoo! Man, the flatheads are on fire now. So leave him in. Fight to <laughs> get this one in and then... Okay. Ooh, this is it. Awesome. Got a flathead down here. But decent. Feels bigger than this one. Another flathead. <laughs> Man. <laughs> oh, we're getting them now. Now that's a nice double right there. Oh yeah. Doubled up flatheads. Number one. There he goes. There he goes. Number two. Flatties are on fire today. Ooh, off they go. Awesome. These flatheads have been on cut skipjack, so we're going to continue using fresh cut skipjack. No, it's a blue. Oh, that's a nice one, too. Second blue of the day, third blue, mm. technically. Tennessee River blue cat. Woohoo! <laughs> Yo! Okay. There he goes. Just had another takedown here where we just caught the that blue, or Ty caught the blue. Just fooling around with the bluegill pole to try to catch some bluegill, so I'm reeling this one in. It's a little bitty one. A little itty bitty one. At least I think it is. Wow, that bait can't even fit in its mouth. Jeez. <laughs> Goes to show, they say big baits, big fish. Not always. Not always. There he goes. Looks like we got something on the whisker seeker. Yep. That was fast. Yeah, I just tossed it out there and he grabbed it. Oh! <laughs> It came off. It's kind of funny, I'm practicing my surf casting on a boat. I hold the reel above my head. My hand is the pivot point and I'm just pulling on the handle to get a cast out of it. Making sure the line's down to the first eye. Hundred and ninety feet. That's over fifty yards, definitely. I demonstrate the uh, surf casting I'm doing on a later video. I see that one going down slowly. Oh, there's fish on. And a fish off. Boo. Fish on the whisker seeker. Again. Hopefully I'll be able to get this one in without it coming off. You got one too? Yeah. <laughs> we doubled up. Whoa. Look at how ours is trying to cross it. <laughs> yeah. Good thing I have a nine foot pole. You got blue. And I got a blue. Oh, I got a blue. Grow up. It's a year and a half, but we finally got one here. <laughs> All right. Nice little blue. He is so wrapped up. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> He's gone. Okay, that was a great first part of the day. So I'm gonna close this video here and start with our little bluegill adventure on the next video. We were catching all those flatheads and the blues and everything all on skipjack. Those giant gizzard shad, they weren't producing. The thread fins were producing the big drums we caught, including that one tarp drum. So that's great. That's two tarp fish in one day and the day's not over with. We're going to attempt to catch some bluegill here and we're going to use live bluegill to see if we can catch some fish. And I will put that as part two of this video. This is April 1st. 
We're fishing just after a cold front and we're catching fish. Especially catching flatheads on cut bait is just something that you wouldn't think would happen in the middle of the day. So thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. And please toss Ty a subscription on his channel. Thank you.